The internet is the most dangerous neighborhood in the whole world, and we have it connected right into our homes and our businesses. So my name is Mike Wright, and I speak on cybersecurity topics, and I've been doing cybersecurity for uh, more than 20 years. I um, got my start working for Cisco, and one of the I've done a couple of big things. I, I built the cybersecurity training program for Boeing, which is one of the largest uh, companies in the world, and now I, I primarily work with the military, with larger organizations, and with intelligence agencies. But I want to spend. I want to start spending about twenty five percent of my time um, working more with professionals and small business owners. Let's say that somebody broke into your computer, stole your marketing material, and spread it all over the internet. Are we going to be concerned about that? No, we're like that's awesome. My marketing material's out there, right? So we don't have to protect marketing material. But what if somebody got your employee social security numbers? Or sensitive customer data and spread that out on the internet. Is that a problem? It is. So that means marketing materials we handle differently than we handle materials that we want to protect, right? Okay. So you have to determine what do I want to protect? What doesn't matter so much? Once you know that, then you can move on to the next step. I know what it's like to invest your heart and your soul and everything you have, and to work nights and weekends and miss time with your family and those kinds of things. And it's it's tough. Imagine going through all that and losing your business in an instant because of a cyber attack, and all of a sudden, all the work, all the thought, all the uh, all the creativity, and everything that's put into that is gone. That traumatizes me. And. I feel like there's not a, good, a lot of good solutions in the marketplace right now to help people deal with that, and I want to, I want to do that. I want to help small businesses because I feel like they're underserved right now. Ransomware attacks are the second most common type of cyber attack, and they happen all the time. These are devastating to individuals. If it happens to an individual, you lo- lose your family pictures, you lose stuff like that. You don't want that to happen, okay? If it happens to companies, it's devastating as well. So we want to protect ourselves from ransomware attacks. The way we do that, determine what's important to you, and then back it up. So when I look at this problem, I see it more as a people problem and as a business problem, right? It's not a. It's not about technology. It's about people, and it's about business, right? So you don't care about all the different things that are out there about cyber. I teach 800 hours on cyber topics. You don't care about any of that, but what you care about is how does that impact my business? What are the areas of that that I need to that I need to understand to keep my business safe? I use the same password for multiple places. Ah, like, oh, don't say that. But that's what we do, right? So that means if LinkedIn gets hacked, or if Facebook gets hacked, or if somebody gets hacked and our password gets compromised, now all of a sudden the password for our bank gets compromised, and the password for our email gets compromised, and all these kinds of things. We all live in a world where we think that. It, it probably matters, but uh, who's going to hack me? But really, it, it matters to all of us, and, and everybody needs to have a basic level of understanding about this, and then they can kind of, um, I think they can figure out where they want to go with that, and I can help with that. Now, if you're using the same password everywhere, you have no compartmentalization. If somebody gets into your LinkedIn account, they can get into your bank account, and that is bad, bad news. Okay, but if you're using a password manager. You can easily go in, and you can. I mean, we do this the way we do anything. You have to take consistent action. Say today, I'm going to go and change the password on the most important thing, and I'm going to use a password manager, and I'm going to protect that password manager with a passphrase. And the next thing I'm going to talk about, which is multi-factor authentication. My presentations aren't about what I'm going to say; it's about what you want to know, right? So. I'll, I'll do things like put in lots of space for you to ask me questions. A lot of times, you might listen to somebody and they're talking the whole time. You can't ask, ask any questions, and so that really will will dictate kind of the direction and what you get out of it. You'll get out of it what you want to get out of it. Since you're connected to this really dangerous place, when you go on the internet, anytime you go to the wrong website, you can, without even knowing this, you can download code that infects your computer. Okay, it's a dangerous place. I've I've tried to cram as much as I could into a short period of time. I've given you five things that you can do, and I did this not because it's the thing that'll make me sound the most awesome, but it's the things that will help you the most. So go home and take action on these things. You can do this, and it will make you safer with your computers, your phones, and online. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much.